These guys have lived half their life. Four weeks. They are four weeks old, going into their fifth week. They've got four more weeks. They're half their size. Well, they still have a lot of growing to do. As you can see, like this guy. Ugh. They just do not look cute and cuddly anymore, do they, guys? <laughs> their feathers are still trying to come in. Of course, they look a little nicer when their feathers do come in, but still, um, they're not going to be very hard to probably process through, that's for sure. Not that they're not very hard and not that they have to be just cute in order for you to have compassion on the fact that they are going to get their lives, because that's not what it's all about. But, um, I definitely don't have as much attachment to them as what, you know, we, we developed with our layer chickens that we had with us for five years and so knowing that their purpose here is for meat and that's why they look the way they do and they're growing very fast and they're a specific breed for um, developing meat. Right? Right little buddy? Um, we can appreciate that so they are doing good. They are very nice and friendly. They're super sweet birds, even still. So that's, you can see I'm just in here petting them. In fact, my layers run more than what they do. Maybe it's because they're super heavy and they just don't even have the energy to run. Could be, but everybody's doing good. All right, and so far this coop, let's talk about that for a second. Has been working out pretty good. A couple things we would do, do differently is I think build one panel at a time and connect them um, each panel together so that it could collapse now. Um, probably use a little bit thicker. We used three fourths PVC. We probably would do one and a half, maybe even two inch um, PVC just to give it a little bit more sturdy sturdiness. Something that we need to do is just glue these edges together because they like to come just from the action of um, rotating them on that axis. Um, they like to come apart. So that would totally help if we actually had put some PVC glue on that. And that's something that we could just fix that. Um, and then we have the pole in the middle because you see when um, it rains, like it likes to puddle up over there. We are expecting some rain over the next few days. so. Not really too much that we would do differently than that, other than just try to keep the tarp pulled tight and then possibly, you know, if it did have a little bit more rigidity in the pipes, that, that could help support the tarp a little bit better. Um, but all in all, it moves very well. You can see the position that we're at in the yard. They were grazing over there. And you can see some of that brown that's happened over there and we've brought them <clears throat> over to here. Again, brown, moving them along over here. And tomorrow they get moved a little bit further down out of the way.